Hello, hello, hello. Today is January 22nd and I want to discuss with you the upcoming total lunar eclipse on January 31st. I'm not sure when I will post this video. Maybe I will do it on the 28th of January or the 29th when I will be in New York City. This total eclipse can be seen over a large portion of the Earth. It cannot be seen where I live, the east coast of the United States, but it can be seen the west coast of the United States, western, northern Canada, Alaska, Siberia, <laughs> Japan, China, Korea, Vietnam, Indonesia, <laughs> India, Australia, to give you just a rough idea. I suggest you Google Total Lunar Eclipse, January 31, 2018. And then you enter your location where you live and that will tell you everything you want to know. It will tell you, tell you when the moon will go into penumbra, which is not so very interesting. It will tell you when the moon enters umbra of the earth. And it will tell you when the entire moon is in the umbra of the Earth. That means total lunar eclipse. The Moon is about 3.7 times smaller than the Earth and the umbra of the Earth at the location of the Moon is roughly about three times the size of the Moon. So that means in an optimum situation when the moon crosses the entire diameter of the umbra the total lunar eclipse can last about two hours. But that's rare if you are so lucky. More common is half hour, one hour, maybe in some cases only a few minutes. The interesting thing about a total lunar eclipse is that the moon gets a color which is sort of blood red. It's a bloody moon. And the reason for that, I think I explain in one of my 803 lectures when I discuss Rayleigh scattering. Keep in mind, when you stand on the moon and if where you are is the umbra of the earth, that means when you look at the earth, you cannot see the sun. If you are located at the position on the moon where you are in the penumbra of the earth, you will see part of the sun when you look at the earth. So the Earth will occult only part of the Sun, but when you are standing at the location where there is the Earth umbra, the entire Sun will be behind the Earth. Now, think about what you will see. The light of the Sun when it goes through the Earth's atmosphere, will undergo Rayleigh scattering. Watch my lectures on Rayleigh, Rayleigh scattering. That means the blue and the green will be scattered out of the sunlight. What remains is red light. It's the same red light that you see near sunrises and near sunsets. 
So if you stand on the moon and you look at the Earth when there is total eclipse for you, so you're in the Earth umbra, then you will see a ring of red light around the Earth. And that's the Earth's atmosphere. And that light is quite bright. And that light illuminates the moon. So you will be standing then on the moon in red light. That red light is scattered sunlight in the Earth's atmosphere. So when you are now on Earth, <laughs> you look at the total lunar eclipse, then the entire moon everywhere is in the umbra of the Earth. So the moon is red. It's really fascinating. I've seen it many times in my life. Total lunar eclipses are not very rare. And the reason is, I told you, that the umbra of the Earth at the location of the Moon is roughly three times larger than the Moon itself. Compare that with the umbra of the Moon at the location of the Earth. <laughs> that is very small, sometimes even zero. That's why solar, total solar eclipses are extremely rare. Do your homework on the geometry of lunar eclipses, total eclipses. Google your location and find out when, as seen from your location, the moon will enter the umbra and when it is totally in the umbra, if you're that lucky. I already mentioned many nations where the eclipse will be total. Okay, January 31st, 2018. You will enjoy it. If you have never seen one before, it's truly very very fascinating. And with some luck, it may last a long time for you. Maybe an hour, maybe even more. Have a nice day, take care, and see you soon again.